Welcome to this little tutorial. Um, we will focus on how to flash the firmware of the Linksys WRT3200 ACM router with DDWRT open source firmware. Before we start anything, let me just tell you that I cannot be held responsible for everything that you do to your router, including damages that might occur because of improper use or improper following of the steps that I um, that I explain here. The first thing we have to make clear is that everything we do with this router in the following steps will only be done via cable. So please make sure that you connect to your router via Ethernet cable um, and not via wireless connection. Because if you try to use wireless connection um, and uh, you uh, transfer the new firmware to the router and during that process the Wi-Fi connection is dropping then you have a bricked router which means that you maybe can't use it as it is meant to be used anymore. So please really be sure that you are using a wired connection from your computer to your router um, and that you are definitely not using the Wi-Fi connection directly to the router as it may have failures during the next steps. Please use a wired connection. So, you see that uh, our router is on at the moment. Um, the router is in normal service mode already. It has been configured before with the original Linksys firmware, that doesn't matter. And uh, we will start this so-called 30-30-30 procedure with pressing the reset button for the first 30 seconds. We will hear a soft clicking when we press the button and from when I press it we will um, go ahead and hold the button pressed for uh, a whole 90 seconds. So we are still in the first 30 seconds. We've got 10 seconds left now. So these were the first 30 seconds and I will disconnect the power cable but hold down the reset button for another 30 seconds. It isn't uh, complicated or it isn't a problem if you press it a little bit longer more is better. Just make sure you always stay in that 30 second cycle and not use less than 30 seconds. So now it's the second segment. 30 seconds are due. So we can reconnect the power to the router and hold the reset button pressed for another 30 seconds. We will now wait. We have to wait another 10 seconds to complete this procedure. And now we are finished with the 30, 30, 30 procedure and I release the reset button. Now it is likely that every part of the memory of the router is cleared and everything is empty. So now we can start our procedure via the wired data line. So first of all, we will visit the DDWRT website, which we find on DD minus wrt.com so when we access this website then we click on router database um, and we'll enter wrt3200 and press enter and here you see that um, we are having the uh, model um, found we click on it 
and then we'll get to the page where we can download the different versions of the software. So, um, here are two different uh, firmwares provided. One is for the initial installation on a router where there has not been installed w, uh, DDWRT before and then we have another one um, for um, updating uh, already installed DDWRT installation. So we'll take the first one which is for the initial installation and we'll click on the file name and the whole thing um, is downloading. After performing this 30-30-30 reset, the router has lost all the settings that it had before. So, this means that the router is now available on its standard IP address, um, which in my case is uh, in another IP range than I'm usually using. So, if your home network or your network works in 192.168.1 range, um, then you can skip this, um, this step. Uh, otherwise, if your router and network infrastructure where you have cabled the WRT3200 to, then um, you have to once log in on this initial Wi-Fi um, and set the WRT3200 to an IP address which you can access in your own network. As we made sure that our router is available with a uh, wired Ethernet connection, then we have the IP address here, which is mine. This is the IP address I use to connect to our uh, WRT3200 uh, via cable. And uh, please don't do the following steps now over a Wi-Fi connection, as it is not good for your router. So, um, if you do not have a German menu on your Linksys router, I assume that. So click on the uh, basic uh, router configuration symbols over here, these two uh, gears, and uh, then on the right side over here we have a possibility to upload a router firmware file. We click on this button which should open a window allowing us to select a special file. So we'll navigate to our so we navigate to our downloads folder and in that downloads folder we have our file which we downloaded from the DDWRT website before. We click on it and say open and uh, now we say start. Um, now the router is asking us because the ending of the um, firmware is normally from links is another one as we provided now. Ours is a, a dot bin ending and I think uh, Linksys is, is waiting for a .img ending. So, yes, anyways, continue. And uh, the firm, now he says that firmware is uh, getting updated and during the firmware update our router will be started once again and uh, maybe there is no internet connection, of course. Uh, so, we say yes, continue. And this is exactly the part where it is very, very dangerous to do this upload via the Wi-Fi connection as it might corrupt your router. So now it uh, tells us that our router is getting restarted. We we'll click OK and this window will wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. And I personally recommend that you go drink a coffee or something, drink a beer, um, but wait about 30 seconds. And please don't be, uh, please be patient 
please do not go to your router and unplug it from power or restart it, force it to restart anything that will corrupt your router. Just wait, take a break for 30 minutes and then come back later. Yes, after that long tea break or coffee break or beer break, whatever, um, you can switch back to wireless configuration. Means you can use your notebook, your MacBook, and you should see a new wireless network, um, which is called DD-WRT. So we will connect to that network. It is an unsecured network allowing us to enter it without providing any um, authorization data like usernames and passwords. Um, and uh, after we had connected to it, then we can access the now um, the, the router now with DD minus WRT firmware on its standard IP address for new DDWRT installations, which is the 192.168.1.1. So, the first page of our router menu says that our router is currently not protected and it is using unsafe default usernames and passwords combinations. So um, here in these fields you can set up a router username, um, you can call it admin, you can call it something else um, and you can set your new router password just as you like. After we've done this we click on change password. After resetting our password we get to the standard starting page in our router and you see the, all the informations with system informations. You see everything about your router, you see everything about wireless connections, you see how much memory is available, how much memory is used. And um, yes, um, so that's it. You are now able to connect to your router on the standard IP address and you are able to connect to the router interface, to the router menu, and you are seeing the system information page. Um, yes. Have fun with DDWRT on your Linksys WRT 3200 ACM. Bye.